Hello all, thank you for joining in. Today I will show you how to convert this autographic drawing into isometric projection. To help you visualize the autographic drawing, let me show you how the object looks like in 3D. This is the front view. This is the top view. The side view has not been given, but this is how it looks like. By the end of the tutorial, you should draw a 3D cuboid like this. In isometric projection, both sides are 30 degrees. Now let me show you how to draw it using equipment. Okay, let's get to work. For this exercise, I will be using pen instead of pencils. So this blue pen right here will be used for construction lines and this black pen will be used for the outline. In your case, you will be using 2B and HB pencils. Now let me introduce you to the set squares. This is called the 30, 60 degree set square. And obviously this angle will be 90 degrees. And this one is the 45, 45 degree set square because this angle right here is 45 degrees and the other one is the same. We will be using mainly this ruler to draw objects in isometric projection. The first thing to do is to draw two horizontal lines. For this, we will place our ruler like this. Make sure that your ruler do not move and we will slide the other ruler and you will draw two horizontal lines. So what is the purpose of drawing two horizontal lines before working? Let me show you. Take a look at the tip of this set square. It is a bit round. So if you place your set square on the first horizontal line, if you try to draw a line, you will get a rounded corner at the bottom. And we don't want that. This is the reason why we have to draw on the second horizontal line so that we get a straight line on the first horizontal line. Now we will need a starting point. Let's put a dot on the line and label it as A. This starting point is known as the lowest point or the nearest point. The first thing to do is to place your 45 degree set square on the second horizontal line. It will serve us as a guide. Make sure that the ruler is straight on the line. Now let's place the 30 degree set square on the 45 degree set square and draw a line. This line will represent the depth of the cuboid. Now rotate your ruler to draw the height of the cuboid. Now let's draw a line for the length of the object. Let's mark out the front view. If this is 100, this will be 100 as well. So we will need to draw the front view here. Let's mark out 100 on this line. Measure 10 centimeters, which is same as 100 millimeters, and put a dot. Now let's draw the height. The height is 70. So let me mark out 7 centimeters on this line. Now for the depth, you will get it on the top view. It is 60 millimeters. So let me mark out 6 centimeters on this line. One point to remember is that 70 is the height and 60 is the depth. Now we will have to complete the crate. To complete this, we will place our 45 degree set square on the second horizontal line and place our ruler and draw vertical lines next to the dots that we just made. Same for this one. Put your ruler next to the dot and draw your vertical line. Now 
Now we need to draw a line similar to this one right here. To do this, make sure that your 45 degree side square is straight on the horizontal line. Then place your ruler like this and draw your line. Same for the other side, rotate your ruler and slide your ruler till you get to your point and you draw your line. Now let's complete the top part. We will need to draw a line similar to this one right here. But watch what happens. When we slide our ruler, we can see that we don't have enough room to complete the line at the back. The line should end around there. So what is the solution? So first of all, place your ruler on the line which you want to copy. Okay, so we want to copy this line and do a similar line right there. So place your ruler on this line. Put the other ruler as a guide below. Then slide the ruler until you get to your point. Then you can draw your line. Like this. Now same thing for the other side. Okay, we need to make a line similar to this one. So place your ruler on the line which you want to copy. Okay, use your 45 degrees of square as a guide. Then again, slide your ruler until you get to your point and then you can draw your line. Now, the blue pen represents the construction lines for this object. So let me write it, construction lines, and you should be using HP pencils. Now let me complete this exercise by drawing the outlines. And for the outlines, I will be using my black pen. So let me draw all the vertical lines first, like this. right there. Now let me draw the incline lines. Make sure that your ruler is straight on the line. Okay, and now let me complete the drawing. Okay, the black pen represents the outline of the object and in your case, you should be using the 2B pencils. But if you want, you can use only one pencil for both the construction line and the outline. Just have to apply less pressure for the construction line and more pressure for the outlines. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next tutorial.